Tonight in our 7 News flashback, the turbulent history of Sydney's ferries. They carry millions of passengers every year, but the fleet has had its share of scandal and tragedy. When this film was shot at Milsons Point in 1899, ferries had already been plying Sydney Harbour for more than 100 years. Sydney's ferries, a colourful and important part of harbour transport. Over the past two and a quarter centuries, they've often sailed into controversy. Caribbean floundered with apparent engine problems. Right after the Great Ferry Race of 1984, Caribbean made its final trip right to the bottom of Circular Quay. After passengers fled, the 100-ton steamer hissed and blubbed its way into history. The ferry cutable was split in half at Garden Island in 1942. 21 sailors were killed, victims of a torpedo from a Japanese midget submarine. This is all that was left of the cruiser Marinda when she collided with a harbour cat in 2007. But Sydney's worst ferry disaster was the Greycliff crash in 1927. 40 died. It actually crossed the path of a Union steamship company vessel called the Tahiti and it chopped it in half just like a, you'd go through a, a slice of butter. Despite the dangers of Sydney Harbour, especially in wild weather, plenty are willing to chance their luck. Think what you like about this woolly weather, but for $6.40 on a day like this, the Manly Ferry is about as much fun as you can have in Sydney. More than five million passenger trips are made to Manly each year, but actually getting to the wharf hasn't always been smooth sailing. Seven miles from Sydney and a thousand miles from Care might have been the advertising slogan, but the beached crew of Freshwater had plenty to care about thanks to a computer glitch, and 500 passengers on the Collaroy found themselves between a rock and a hard place. <laughs> But the biggest impact on ferries came from the city's new pride and joy. Morning, noon and night, the bridge was a constant topic of ferry boat conversation. Back in the 20s, there was no harbour bridge and the ferries had their heyday. While Circular Quay's wharves were once among the busiest in the world, Sydney ferries still carry more than 15 million passengers a year. With the traffic problems in Sydney and the way that people are in a hurry, they're still quicker to go by ferry uh, than they are to go in a traffic jam or a bus or a train.